Welcome, gardening comrades. Woohoo! Finally, we got it together. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. So now, I think I'm good to grow. All my holes are plugged. I got my caps for my cups. And now I just need to fill her up with water and see what's popping. So as I'm looking around, making sure everything is everything, I finally figured out where these little covers go and they go on to the lights up here. So I'm gonna have to put these in some kind of way. Okay, well, it went on there. And apparently I got one more to cover. But I got some more holes to plug because... What are those? And why are they going all the way through there like that? That is interesting. But I'm going to plug them with some more of these. Um, yeah, it's like on every one of them. Uh-oh, I missed it. But yeah, let me make sure and see if it's any on this side. And there it is. Or should I say it? There they are. Mm-hmm. But I ain't tripping. I'm just gonna plug them. So I can grow. You know what it is. In my quest to find new germination techniques. I'm going to be using these clone collars and I don't need tape over the hole because I've looked through and I cannot see light coming through there. And it's gonna be up to the line here anyway, so yeah. And then I'm going to use the hydrotin on the bottom and hemp fiber on the top so the seeds don't fall in between the uh, hydrotin here. So yeah, let's get these good pots in the containers and let's grow. We are ready to sow some seeds. I'm only gonna use tier number two so I don't be wasting my seeds and water all over the floor because I'm not sure how this is gonna hold up but we praying for them. Let's grow. Got some germination on the micro salad here. I should have put a weight on it and a cover, but this is my first experience with it, so now I know what I want to do with it. These seeds probably gonna take a minute, especially that spearmint, because it's an herb. And I read that the rosemary takes at least 30 days to germinate. <laughs> Imagine that. So, I'll be waiting. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Waiting on these seeds to pop. That's us
not really liking that spacing and I gotta close those gaps so the light don't get into my water. pots out of my hydroponic unit so I can block the light coming around the side. The reason I didn't fill this up all the way to the top is because I want the seeds to have some room to grow versus if I would have put it directly on the top they would have been lanky and all of that. So this is hemp fiber that I'm cutting and I'm putting it around the inside of each pot. To block the light from getting to my water. <laughs> that's what that's for. And these are my lettuce seeds that have started to germinate. I don't know if you can see them standing up, but they are germinating. So once I get it closed, I'll come in here and give them a little water. Make sure I can't see any more light coming in. And put it back in the hydroponic unit. Hold one time. I almost forgot. I just put a little piece on the side over there because I did see some light. But uh, come on baby, come back now. Anywho, I don't want to focus. But there we go. Okay, keep on racking up. I got my vermiculite here and I'm going to sprinkle it over the top of the seeds. So they can have something to push through because they're coming out kind of lanky and I'm going to resolve that and the reason I'm using so much water is because it has to go through the vermiculite and it's gonna hold that moisture for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. These are the spearmint seeds that are so tiny. Hmm. 
inside of the cup and there's a hole right there that's why I got the little pieces so yeah grab some to make it light and vermiculite light allows for light to penetrate. So I'm not concerned with piling it up here because it's just whoop, giving it something to push through. Micro green seeds that I was testing so I guess it's an experiment and it went well because the seeds germinated I've had these seeds since 2019 and it was only a small amount of them so now that I know they germinate yeah we're gonna rock with it so this might be a little challenging to get this piece in there hmm and I see a lot of them have come up. So, yeah, let me try it anyway. Because some of them, they're rooted outside of the uh, hemp fiber here. This is my experimental pot. Let me, because I see roots just up with nothing to hold them down. So now that ought to help hold them down. Yeah. Before <laughs> the 
plants get established. Yeah, so. There's that. And I'm happy to see those greens have uh, germinated. Let's grow. This is my stevia, and I have a little germination right there. There are a couple more seeds in here, so I'm going to continue the process. And yep, I'm gonna get him some vermiculite too. with you. These are my black cumin.
a light. And we are good to grow. Hmm, I see some light coming through there. So once I took my rosemary out of there, I noticed there's a plant in the water. You see it right there? And I don't know what it is. It could be a spinach or one of those little greens over there. And it's looking like it might be a spinach. But yeah, that's what's growing on this side of there. I'm going to have to fish that out some type of way. But yeah, I'll get it. So, I fished it out. And now, I don't know. I guess I'll put it in here. This is rosemary. I'm not sure what this is, but yeah, it's going in. Maybe. you are anymore because hmm let me see if I move the fiber back and drop you in there is going to grow because it's in there. That's where it's at. Mm -hmm. And this is the last of it. 
this is the Lego spinach. Tucked and ready to grow. While I was plucking that uh, little seed out of there, or should I say, <laughs> the one that germinated, I see a seed. Yeah, that I missed, and I don't know where it went. It could be the lettuce seed, that's what it looks like, but it could be one of these other seeds too. Anywho, we are all tucked in and ready to grow. Mm -hmm. So, let's grow with this new hydroponic experiment. I'm out. I'm happy you're getting used to your new floor. Because it's easier for me to clean. I must say, the vermiculite and extra hemp fibers that I put on here have helped. Yes, indeed. These seedlings in here just showing out and I'm ready to plant them now. Yeah, this was an experiment but I might go ahead and eat those just because or I could let them just grow with the rest of them and see what's growing on with them mm -hmm. so yeah this experiment is successful and now I'm ready to move it up a level and plant out the top Finally, I see some stevia poking through there. That's what's good. Yeah, so I was trying to wait for y'all to get a little taller, but I see y'all don't need to wait. Don't mind that mess right there. 
I'm doing an experiment so this one is just holding my items up my experiments are looking very well mm -hmm. so I managed to find my tubing that I'm going to put inside of here to add a pump and yeah we are looking very good Time to take the top off of the rosemary. That was a seedling that I fished out of the tank. So, I'm not concerned about it. But this is rosemary from seed. That cumin, I don't know what's going on with it. My stevia has germinated. Spinach is looking good. And I'm ready to continue on. Now that I know these will grow very well in here. So, G Mama grows hard in the garden. My air plants taking up space until I fill up my little pots but yeah I'm ready to grow on with this good experiment <laughs> 